So with this question, we're gonna be doing a proof. So the way that it works is they tell us that this part over here is true, so they give us that, and then you somehow have to prove this. Now obviously you're not gonna go use your formula sheet because on the formula sheet they've already shown that this is true, but this is a proof, so we're busy proving it. So they only give us this, and we're only allowed to use that to somehow make this. Okay, so we wanna somehow work out what is cos of alpha minus beta. Well, first of all, I know that that is the same, because I, because I know the following, I know that there's something called co-functions, right? And I know that the way that that works is, for example, the sin of 90, or let's rather write it this round, if I have the cos of x, then I know that that is the sin of 90 minus x, for example, that is a co-function. So I want you to think of this as x, if that is x, then I can rewrite this as the sin of 90 minus x, but now because x is two angles, I'm gonna put it in a double bracket like that, okay? So now I'm just gonna write this over here. Now what we need to do is just quickly simplify inside here, so that's gonna become, um, sorry, let's actually just write it over here. I'm just gonna multiply this negative into the bracket here, so it becomes minus alpha plus beta. Okay, and so that's what we have now. Now I know that this rule says that I need this thing, this part. Now I don't want you to look at this alpha and think that it's the same as this alpha, and I don't want you to look at this beta and think it's the same as this beta. All I want you to do is I want you to see this as angle one and angle two, okay? So I know that the two angles need to be subtracted. So I need to make a subtraction over here. How do I do that? Well, what I could do is I could write this as 90 plus beta. That's gonna be my first angle, okay? Well, I don't need to put in a bracket and then minus that. So I'm gonna use this as my angle one and I'm gonna use this as my angle two. And now I'm gonna go use this rule. So what it tells me is that it becomes the sin of the first angle, so that's my 90 plus beta. Then it's the cos of my angle two. Then I put a minus, the cos, notice I'm not using this one because that's what we're trying to prove. So now it's the cos of my angle one, which is 90 plus beta, and then the sin which is my sin of alpha. Now, from co-functions, let's go write out our four co-functions that we know. Um, let's write them over here. We know that, for example, sin of 90 minus x is cos x, cos 90 minus x is sin x, sin 90 plus x is cos x, and cos 90 plus x is negative. So next, so if I have a sin of a 90 plus, then that's this one, then it just becomes the cos of that angle. So it just becomes the cos of that angle, cos alpha I'm gonna leave as it is. If I have cos 90 plus, then it actually becomes a negative. So I'm gonna put a negative sin beta and then sin alpha. Now these two become a plus, and so then what we've done is we have just proven that this is equal to that, because I said this is equal to this, which is equal to this, and then that became this, and then I was able to show that all of that became that, and so now I can say that this first part is therefore that. And what we've gone and done is we've proven that um, formula over there.